guys, I'm asked quite a lot if it's easy to find a job as a foreigner in Panama. And usually the people asking me this are tourists or people who are just traveling through for several months. So what I want to make clear is that this is not the right question to ask. What you should be asking is whether it's legal or not for you to work here in Panama as a foreigner. And if you're a tourist passing by, I'm sorry to say, but the answer is no. If you don't have a proper work permit to work in Panama, which you can only get through a lawyer, then you're not allowed to work. The reason why I want to touch upon this topic is because last week several businesses here in Bocas del Toro have been raided and all foreign workers have been arrested by the police. I'm not clear on what happened to these workers, but I know the businesses have been fined um, pretty heavily for, for this. And... Um, most of these workers were under the impression that they were doing volunteer work, for example, at hostels, um, working in exchange for lodging or lodging and food. But the law in Panama is very clear about volunteering. If you uh, volunteer, uh, means that you're actually improving the community or helping the community. And working at a hostel or at a bar or at a restaurant is definitely not community work. And um, the law is very clear on it. So if you're being offered any type of work as a foreigner during your vacation, um, know that you're going to break the law. Even if the business says it's okay, it's not okay. If you want to relocate to Panama and find a job, you would have to approach a lawyer and do your you know, paperwork, your residency and your, your work permit. And um, if you refer to my video called uh, Lawyer Up, you'll find some good contacts for, of lawyers who can help you do your paperwork. In Panama, there's a quota of foreigners that companies can hire. It's between 10% and 15%. So for every 10 Panamanian um, workers, they are allowed to hire one foreigner, obviously with the paperwork done, um, depending on the situation. So the situation is different for each company, obviously. Again, I, I'm not a lawyer, but you should really talk to a lawyer if you're serious about relocating to Panama and want to work here. I'm just throwing this out there because I want you to be aware of businesses who offer volunteer jobs, meaning um, work in exchange for lodging or in exchange for food, because they want to save money on social security and salaries that they could be paying a Panamanian to, to work at their business. And they're not doing it, they're instead hiring tourists for very little or no money at all. So it's just not fair to the locals and to the local economy. And that's why um, immigration is cracking down hard on these businesses. So be aware of such offers and make a smart choice. And um, if you want to work in Panama, go through the legal channels to do it. All right. So that's it for today. And I'll see you soon for the next topic.